Hello everyone, welcome back to Vase Plays Delver's Drop. This is the pre-alpha if you guys have missed the last two episodes. I, I want to stress that. This is not indicative of anything that you'll be seeing in the main game. So a little bit of the slidiness that'll be, you know, moved about. The physics engine is, is, in, in, its, is it's in its infancy. The game itself here, what you're seeing, was just developed for the showroom to kind of show off the intent of the game. And I honestly think with a little bit more polish and a little bit more depth, I think this would actually be a completely serviceable game. So, bravo to the Pixelscopic team. Great, great guys, I've, I said in the first episode. Uh, really, really love them. Very, very helpful, very open about the entire process and very willing to talk. Um, I, I didn't give very much commentary because Audacity doesn't play well with the pre-alpha, but I'm going to, you know, talk over this and, and kind of describe my thoughts in a bit more detail. The enemies really have an inter I really like the art style of the enemies. I also really like how each enemy has its own, like, AI, so they behave differently in their own little set of set world. Like, the, the Plague Rats will run away from you. They don't want anything to do with you until you hit them. And then they'll chase after you with a vengeance for a little while. And if you hit them again, they'll stop and they'll move really slowly to try and blow up, as you can see, and, and shoot their caustic goo out at you. Um, and that's, you know, terrible. They're, they're pretty gross. But again, I really like how they're designed. They stand out. They don't kind of blend in with the world around them. And that, that's a problem I have with a lot of games that are top-down, is that sometimes the enemies, sometimes the shots, sometimes the attacks really blend in, and that's not a problem in this game, and it's not going to be a problem at all, because the art style isn't really going to be changing. I really like how it's stylized, how it kind of evokes the 16-bit era with, you know, top-down games like Zelda. Uh, I haven't really discussed this either. The secondary items are pretty cool. We get bombs, fire wands, health potions, and the crossbow, as you can see for now. There is plans to include other classes' weapons, and again, we only have a rogue who uses the dagger and the shield. There are going to be nine classes in total. The musketeer, the element elementalist, the gladiator who's going to be, you know, our tank. That He's part of the core three. The core three is the sorcerer, the rogue, and the gladiator. And the sorcerer is going to be out in the actual alpha build. The alpha build is called Rogue Magic. So we'll be showcasing the Rogue and the Sorcerer. And I'm excited to play a ranged class. I think I would actually do a little bit better with a ranged class over a melee class. I, I, again, I like how the enemies interact with the world. You see these little goblins, and that's what they are. They're the quote-unquote larval form, as the developers call them, of the goblins of the Delver's Drop world. And there's a lot of lore and a lot of really interesting stuff going on that'll be showcased later on in the alpha and and beyond and i definitely will be you know keeping that and I, i'm very cautious with these turrets because they hit ungodly powerful and i'm not sure if that's intended there was this, some discussion that they hit twice with even though you have a minor invincibility frame i kind of like how that's not the case and i also like the slimes how they kind of slide very much trying to like juke the system by knocking them there into the void and you can kind of see i'm avoiding the edges too much because they actually at the current time in this build kind of have like a gravitational field like if, as soon as you hit that border you're going through and uh, i die because i'm a big dangus really not not my greatest showing i just did this fast episode i don't want to get too crazy because again this is the pre-alpha i know i've said that you know four or five times already i i, I can't stress it enough uh, I've, I've had people on the forums and other places, you know, discussing this, and pe it, it just seems that a lot, a lot of people think this is indicative of the final game product, and I don't, I don't want that to be the case. What you're seeing now is kind of just a teaser showcase that the, the game is going to be, you know, Zelda with roguelike elements, and a, and I, I really love the, the physics engine. This room is a nightmare. All those boxes you see explode, and they knock blocks around, and they just create chaos and fear, and I hate them. And the ghosts, by far, are probably my favorite enemy in the entire game. When you hit them, and I, I hope that, uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be going after them last because I like to prioritize them as the biggest threat. If you hit them, and they have two hit hits with the rogue damage, they actually cr start crying until they reappear, and I think that's really really cool that they they added that 
Goblins also seem to drop meat, which is our health upgrade. They seem to drop it more than anything else, and I kind of like how they leave their eyeballs around. I think that's it, endearing in a way. When you hit the ghost once, they'll float away from you, and then they'll disappear, and you can kind of see a tear on that one. I It just... They all seem to have their own life, their own existence outside of you in this game world. I like how when you hit the bat, you actually knock it out of the air, because the bat actually flies over traps and ranged weapons, like the crossbow. Or, no, they, sorry, they, they fly over the, like the turrets and stuff, I apologize. They don't fall, fl fly over the crossbow. The slimes and the rats will not be affected by the crossbow. And the ghosts are really my bane. Their little blue, ghastly smoke thingy really messes me up. It's really hard for me to, to parse. Especially, I did this run really early in the morning as well, so uh, that may be a reason why I didn't do so well either. But no making excuses. I'm not the best at this game. The the highest I've heard someone getting in the endless mode, which is what this is, is 166, and that's that's crazy. I I don't have unfortunately enough time to dedicate to the game to get that. And again, I I blow up. I like how you blow up into a bunch of bones. One one cool feature that will be coming. I think I mentioned this in the first episode, but I I may I may have been remiss not to have. I don't I I may have just missed it. I'm remiss to have done so. I, I apologize for tripping over my words there a little bit. That this game will allow you to start over fresh, and I hate this room. This is another room where the physics engine is your biggest enemy. Because not only are the blocks sliding around, but the slimes are sliding around as well. But quick room. And this is probably my favorite room. I really like the rooms where you have to kind of overcome obstacles instead of... And I thought I was going to get hit there for sure. Uh, instead of the enemies themselves. But yeah, I, I, um... I'm trying to click where I was. Ah, yes. Uh, you'll be able to start over fresh in your adventure in story mode. Or you'll be able to opt out to go to the floor you are on. And when you do that, you'll be fighting an enemy called the Undelver. An undead version of your former self. And you'll be able to possibly get a couple weapons that you lost back. There will be weapons in this game. Uh, different swinging attacks. Different ranges. Very, you know, again, very physics-based. This whole game is, is centered around, you know, kind of the physics engine. And there you see the turrets, really. They pack a wall up, man. You, don't, you do not want to get hit by them. But I like their little flame balls. I think they're really cool designed. I like the flame in this game. Just how sharp it looks. And I have a bit of OCD. Uh, th this is what the commonly qu asked question on the, the forums that I, fr I do frequent. And great, great place. Why do I keep blowing them up? I, I just, I don't know. I like the sound of the attack. I, I like the animation for the attack. I like to just watch pots explode. It's, it's that Zelda mentality where you go into every room in every village and just whirlwind attack and destroy everything and pick up rupees. I just like doing that. And this bat was my my bane. I'm really careful. I try to be really careful. The logs with axe blades and shrapnel in them really scare the crap out of me. So I don't I didn't want to go chasing after it. I, the the music kind of reminds me of Gerudo Valley and th it's the only track that is in right now, but I actually do have access to the OST and there's the bat that killed me. So, I think this is where I leave it. So, uh, as always, ladies and gentlemen, Thanks for watching.